G'day gang, Gimel, you're Dan here, how you going? We're back in Elder Scrolls Online Grimoire. Uh, we got Princess Vana to talk to over there, but let's have a chat to our friends. Fen's fighting a battle with himself right now, but he'll be ready when we need him. In the meantime, the princess wants to talk to you. Okay. I'll just check in with Fen. Hi. Just give me a moment to collect myself. I'll be ready to do my part when you need me. You got it. Princess Vana. The information you brought back from Blackreach might give us a fighting chance. Let's put our heads together and figure out how to use what you learned. My father be damned. Well, we killed Singalus and brought back a map and a communique. The enemy calls itself the Grey Host. The Grey Host? Where have I heard that name? Meanwhile, my father rounded up the Harrow and moved his soldiers to the Outer Walls. Then he ordered the Quartermaster to stockpile Castle Dower. He's preparing Solitude to withstand a long siege. And you don't agree with that approach? That might work against a mob of Reachmen, but thick walls can't stop a Harrow storm. Any war we try to wage will be over before it starts if we don't find a way to stop them. Fen knows more about the storms than anyone. See what he suggests. Alright, I'll talk to Fen. Talk to Fen. If he has any bright ideas, I'd love to hear them. Magister Fridelia has been studying the Ice Reach Coven Medallion, but she hasn't had a lot of success. She seems even less confident about reproducing their protective enchantment now. Did Magister Fridelia learn anything of that might help us? She identified necromantic components as part of the enchantment, as well as Reach rituals. But she isn't an expert on either type of magic. Frankly, I think she's exhausted the scope of her knowledge. Were you able to accomplish anything while we were rescuing Finn? You mean other than hounding my father and serving as go-between for the Jarl of Morthal and the Magister of Carthold? I wrangled promises out of my father and showed our allies that someone in Solitude still cares. What kind of promises? I got High King Svargrim to promise to dispatch soldiers to reinforce Morthal's defenses and send aid to Carthwatch. It's a start, but he hasn't actually issued the orders yet. I need to follow up with him after we're finished. So the High King has finally acknowledged the threat to his kingdom? Sort of. He admits he might have been wrong about the Ice Reach Coven, as far as that goes. But he still glares daggers whenever anyone mentions you or Lyris. So let's not bring up Fen, alright? Right. It's alright. I'm ready to help. I... I know what you need me to do. Put my experience behind me. Focus on the mission, just like Verandis taught me. Could you show me the research you recovered from Exarch Singalus's laboratory? I found notes on werewolves and nether root, and a potion made from nether root and other ingredients. These notes prove my theory. Nether root is the key component of the Harrowstorm ritual. It's like a poison for the soul. Weakens the bonds to the body so it can be pulled free. They're harvesting life energy from anyone caught in the storms. Why would they want to harvest life energy? I'm guessing, but it may have something to do with those stone husks we saw. Remember how the werewolf emerged from one? And look at the mixture you retrieved. It isn't like the residue we recovered from the witch pike. It's more concentrated. Could that be why, or what, they're going to use to make the harrow storms stronger? It's certainly what Singalus' notes imply. Despite how it looks, a plan is formulating in my mind. I think I can create an elixir, but I'll need more of this refined netherroot brew. And we need to solve the mystery of the coven medallions. Alright. Anyone have any idea where we're gonna find this stuff? I can help with that. Bring the map from Singalus' sanctum over here. Place it on the table. I want to show you something. See those marks? Grey host sites that correspond to the communique we found. Lyris knows this part of the world better than I do. See which locations she thinks stand the best chance of providing us with the items I need. I know a commander's map when I see one. Each of those marks matches a location mentioned in the communique from Rada al Saran, the leader of the Grey Host. I can already see where we need to go. 
Where do you think we should look? That mark on the northwest coast. That's an Ice Reach Coven camp. The communique mentioned needing more medallions. Odds are, they come from there. And here. A Midland camp between Dragonbridge and Morthal. It's a staging ground for the Harrow Storms. And that's where we can find the refined Netherroot brew? More than likely. Those two locations should provide what Fen needs to finish his elixir. We can't bet everything on that, though. The communique mentions a warlord's camp in Blackreach. Maybe we can learn more about their ultimate plan there. Three camps. That's a lot of ground to cover. Svana, Fen, and I will divvy up the camps and scout ahead. Fen should investigate the coastal camp. I'll take the Midlands camp. That leaves Svana with Blackreach. Meet up with each of us when you're ready. Then we'll hit each camp in turn. What should we expect to find at these Grey Host camps? We don't have a lot of solid details, just what we've pieced together from the Grey Host's notes and communique. But I'll answer your questions the best I can. Which camp did you want to ask about? What do you know about the Midlands camp? The Grey Host isn't just hiding in Blackreach now. They're mounting an invasion, and this appears to be their primary staging ground. I expect they're stockpiling witch pikes, grey reliquaries, and other supplies here, including the refined brew. I want to know about the camp in Blackreach. That's the one we know the least about. But it's where a lot of the Grey Host's warlords are gathering, at least according to the communique. It's the best place I can think of where we can get a look at those orders the Ashen Lord mentioned. Tell me about the coastal camp. From what I can tell, the camp on the northwest coast is where the Coven first made landfall from Ice Reach. It's as close to a home base as they've got. They've established themselves there, so I'd expect it to be well defended if not fortified. Why do you think this is where they're making their medallions? The communique mentioned orders to produce more of those medallions, probably to keep pace with the increase in Harrow Storms. I can't guarantee this is the coastal camp where the orders were sent, but it's the only one on the map. Blackreach. To think such a dark and dangerous place has always existed right beneath our feet. I want to see it for myself. And I want to determine what the Grey Host is planning. You'll meet me there though, right? I could use the help. I'll be there. Svana is heading to Blackreach, and Lyris wants to take the Midland camp. So I'm going to the coastal camp. I'll see you there. You should hurry though. Once the Grey Host realizes we have this map, they might scatter like leaves in the wind. Alright, I think that's where we're going to go first. So let's have a look on the map. Okay, so that's actually a region which we've not explored. We have gone along this way. I think what we'll do... We might go from Kilcreath, Temple Way Shrine, and travel up this way and see if there's anything else along the way. And then if we go into the Midland, I guess we can work our way down this... this path. Should cover those areas. Weird, why did I dismount just there? Alright, so we'll go from Kilgreath Temple Way Shrine. Back in it, amongst the snow, let's make our way. Over to the road. Alright, we'll follow this along. So I think really early on in this adventure, we came along this way, but... We may have even travelled... Yeah, well, I think we went along this way. Around the around the back there. Returning to Solitude. Oh, 
Oh, the, f the snow drift. And the winds are blowing. Got the saber cats. this all about? What if this is the exit to some delve or maybe something's here later? Now we've got a watchtower. Swords Point Watchtower discovered. A book about sea giants. Oh, hello there. <laughs> All right, we're racking them up. I think we got. Well, I think I got like two or three of them in my inventory. I got to return to the uh, the Bard's College. on the peel man couple of bookshelves Let's see what's up top oh blocked off wonder why that is Oh, we got a uh, boss here. The Sea Giant, right, right. There's a book talking about that. There just happens to be one down here. The cheese sack is empty. Well, there's no other adventurers around at the moment, so... You get to live another day, at least for now. Oh, coastal giant camp. Where's the cheese? Aha. Thank you very much. Got that briny mammoth cheese. Giant cheese connoisseur. That's <laughs> that's us. Leading us away from the coast. way back down. I will actually aim to travel along this way anyhow. Don't make out much over there. Oh, we got bears on the road.
kind of sus in all these areas over here. I feel like there's too many places which could potentially house or hide a shard or two of the sky edition. The sky variety. A lot of runestones. Giant's Coastal Ritual Site. Yeah, no sky shards about. See a boat down there? Ah, good. I was hoping you'd show up. Fenorian. Yeah, we took a little detour. Am I in combat still? I can't talk to him. Fenorian. Try backing away and coming. Come back over here, maybe. And it'll allow us to talk to him. There we go. Lyris was right. This camp is crawling with the Ice Reach Coven. And they're definitely producing the medallions here. I was even able to slip away with one. We need to get closer, though. Closer? There's more to figuring out this magic than just watching from afar. I need to know exactly how they go about creating them. With your help, we can learn everything about that here in this camp. What's so special about this camp? It's a landing site for the boats coming from the island of Ice Reach. Plus, they're collecting something here that goes into the process of creating the medallions. If you can get me to the center of the camp, I can learn what that is. I'll help you reach the center of the camp. Determining how they create these medallions will be an enormous help. The Grey Host has accelerated their plans. They need more medallions for a reason. A big harrow storm is coming. We need to be ready. Why do you think we can learn more at the center of the camp? Because the Grey Host is guarding something down there. I couldn't get close, but it appeared that they built the camp to surround something. Plus, I heard a few of the witches talking. Complaining, really, about needing to prepare more medallions. Tell me about the Grey Host. In the first era, an army of vampires and werewolves tried to conquer the land before they were stopped in Bankurai. They called themselves the Grey Host. It seems this Radha al Saran has resurrected the army, both figuratively and literally. Hmm. They want to sweep over the lands of Tamriel again, eh? Your eyes reach down there. Ravages. What do they have to do with the medallions? Let's examine the nearby graveyard. We grow ever closer to our goal. Soon you will know the taste of Priam. <laughs> Felt like a whole bunch of rings just flew everywhere. Fenorian, do you want to look at these? Do you want to look at these corpses? Or are we going... Want to go into the graveyard? I guess you want to go into the graveyard. Examine the headstones. Let's determine what's so special about the exhumed bodies. Here lies Brokel, beloved son, herder. Died in his sleep, old as Skyrim.
are known a traveling merchant run through by bandits. This daughter of Skyrim thought old and wise. Licker the copulent, old as the hist. This mother of Merkmire, scholar of our ways, she died of heartbreak. Uh, they all say old in them, though. Here lies Uthbert, son of Riel, chief killer, and old as the hills. A warrior born, he passed on the privy with a heaping of scorn. The graveyard. The Ice Reach Coven certainly enjoy defiling graves. They exhumed some of the bodies buried here, but not all of them. The ones they dug up must be important to the creation of the medallions. We need to learn why. How do we determine why some bodies were exhumed and not others? Obviously, the bodies are already gone. All that remains are the headstones. Maybe they'll provide a clue as to why those particular corpses were exhumed. And maybe that will tell me something about the process used to create the medallions. Alright, well. I looked at all of them, didn't I? Ah, oh, there's one over here. Medallions! Four of them! Beneath this stone lies Harlock the Bastard, a tired old wastrel and brother of Jaw. A layabout in life who froze in a blizzard. Finished? Have you come to any conclusions? Ah, I've got one. Well, we've both been over the headstones with a fine toothed comb. If we can determine why the Coven dug up these particular bodies, it will tell us something about how the medallions were enchanted. Let's discuss what we found on the headstones. Of course. Compare notes and look for commonalities. You have the makings of a fine scholar, my friend. Now, let's see. I noticed there were a mix of different races buried here. They weren't all Nords. Anything strike you about the departed? Uh, they all shared something in common when they died. They did? Tell me more. They were all old when they died. Of course. Why didn't I see that? The headstones on the exhumed graves all mentioned that the person was old when they died. Let me think. Some necrotic spells require the remains of the elderly. Something to do with the natural decay of life. The natural decay of life? According to one necromantic theory, the older a living thing becomes, the more necrotic energy it naturally acquires. As a body grows old and withers, the life inside it decays. Necrotic energy is the byproduct of this deterioration. Does that tell you enough to figure out how to create the medallions? I now know enough about how they create the medallions to move my research along. I'll return to the Blue Palace and start putting an elixir together. What else do you need me to do? To fully craft an elixir to defend against the Harrow Storms, I still require a sample of refined netherroot brew. Plus, we need to determine what the Grey Host has planned. Help Lyris and Svana at the other camps. Then meet me at the Blue Palace. Right. Alright, Fenorian, I will leave you there, but I see something in the distance, which I just gotta explore. First, I'm gonna go for a little round, I'm gonna ride around this building. I thought, no, okay, maybe not. I thought for sure there'd be a sky shot right there. But I guess not. Can't enter that building, it's chained up. Right, let's go check out the delve at the back. 